What would you do with this piece of paper? I wonder. Now, some of you are probably thinking, oh, a piece of paper, is he sure? Now, let me explain. Because this piece of paper can represent our life with how we treat it and how we use it. For example, some of you are just going to screw it up and throw it away. But don't worry, because like most things we might throw away by accident, we can always get them back. And we can get them good as new, as long as they're not ripped nor torn. <sighs> Holly, that's my sister if you didn't know. She threw away a pair of football tickets that I saved up for four months. Anyway, back to the point. But let's stick with her. Because in secondary school, she was diagnosed with dyslexia. And she gave up with English and spelling in a hole. But when it came round to her GCSEs, she realised this is not the way to act. So she studied. She studied harder and harder, longer and longer. And when it, when it came round to her results, she, she'd done it. She got all 11 GCSEs, including her English, which she got a B in. So now she's in a second year of sixth form, studying government and politics, and wants to be the future Prime Minister. Yeah, God save us all. So now my sister has changed her piece of paper from a screwed up ball into an aeroplane. Yes, a paper aeroplane. Because with a paper aeroplane, she can fly as high and achieve her goals. Sorry about that. But who do I know who has done this? My granddad. My granddad got to do many experiences in his life. He got to see the world by doing his service for his country in the RAF and working with British Airways. Now, you might not know, but sadly, my granddad isn't with us anymore. But he's still getting things achieved. How? He, with the legacy and the money he raised by working left behind, as a family, we can go on great adventures and experiences. And for him, allowing us to do that, that is an achievement in itself. Now, one last example of what you can do with your paper, which I'm going to show you, is a hat. Yes, a paper hat. Because with a hat, you can give to your friend or a family member to keep the rain off their heads and keep it warm. Now, two people that have done this for me in my life are my mum and my dad. Now, I know it's a cliche, but that's because it's so true. For the 15 years I've been on this earth, they've guided me. And the fact I'm standing here right now, regardless I've got a paper hat on my head, they've done a pretty good job, haven't they? So, Mum, Dad, hats off to you. <laughs> now, I'm going to ask you one last time. What will you do with your piece of paper? Make it into a hat, or a plane, wherever it is, or something else. The possibilities are endless. But I beg you, do not rip it, do not tear it, do not throw it away. You only have one.